Hello everyone, welcome to my Fab Lab class. So today, uh, we're here in Fab Lab Hall, Philippines. It's the first Fab Lab in the Philippines. And today, I'm gonna share to you or introduce to you another machines that we have here in the lab. So today, we're gonna work with a vacuum form. So this vacuum form allows us to create a molder in an instant. In just like a few minutes, you can have your molder to have like a you know, molder for um, food, molder for uh, tools, molder or create a case or and so on. So yeah, without further ado, let's start working with this machine. Okay, so before we start with this machine, we have to prepare first a th any 3D model or any 3D um, form that you wish to, you know, to create, to be, to be, um, to, be cr to create or any molder, whatever it is. So all we need to do is to prepare the 3D model. Uh, so here we can we can see on the LCD screen the user interface. So we can see the plastic type, the forming temperature, the current temperature, the timer, thickness, vacuum tuning, visual guides, and text prompt. So while using this machine, we have to uh, To select the type of material that we are going to use. So today I'm going to use a HIPS material. This HIPS material is a high impact polystyrene that could um, you know create a molder for you. So this is um, 0.5 mm so actually there's an option uh, we can also use 1 mm we can also use 1.5 mm but today we're going to use this 0.5 high high impact polystyrene. So we also have a lot of types of material like um, PVC, EBS, and so on. Okay, let's start. So first, we have to unclip this toggle clamp. So these are the, the toggle clamp. So we have to unclip. Okay. After unclip, we have to insert the wrench to the slot on the shape clamp. So this is the wrench. So we have to put it here, this thing, to remove this clamp okay so also uh, we are reminded to please wear uh, heat gloves to avoid you know um, problems when you see okay so the next step is to lift up the part okay the C clamp and then next is to put the plastic or to place the plastic sheets on the sheet clamps. So we have to put it here, this part. And then we are going to return the clamp, this one, in this position. So, okay. okay, after we have to click the toggle clamps, this two, okay. And then we have to raise the handle part. So uh, okay, that's it. We have to make sure that it's uh, you know properly attached to the top. So now we have to set um, the tools that or the three D model that we wish to you know be molded. So I'm going to use this one. It's alloy steel. I'm just going to put it this, that way and then also maybe this shell at this side okay and I have here also this shape that is the LCD screen so this one so since I'm going to use hips so actually we can select the types of material so first uh, we have options with AB, ABC PVC 
PITG, PMMA, PC, HDPE, PP, Index, uh, EVA, and so on. But today, I'm going to use hips or the high, high plastic sheet something. So, okay, so now I'm going to set, based on the standard, we're going to set uh, the temperature with regards to the types of material that we're going to use. So, I'm going to show you on the screen at this time the different kinds of materials and the exact temperature that you are going to follow. Okay. Okay, and then after setting all the temperature and so on, I'm going to press the start. So this is the start button, which means you're all good. And then press start. Okay, once uh, you started it, make sure that on the LCD screen, it's written the heating. So it means that you are actually working with setting the temperature of the machine. Okay, so in a few minutes, uh, after it will reach to the degree that I wish, so later on, we're gonna pull it down and yeah, you can just watch in a moment. Okay, so at this time, um, it's almost there, so it's 140 degrees Celsius and our aim is 100 degrees Celsius. So, okay, so once the material is on, you have to lower this handle bar and the middle and then put the This can be very hot, so please be careful. So I'm going to unload this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this. Okay. And uh, please be careful because it might be hot. Actually, it's hot. Okay. I'm removing it slowly. Okay, here. So here I have already uh, made the, the molder of the tools or the 3D model that I. Um, put in this back part. So here, the back portion of it, so we can now remove it. So, okay. okay, careful. Okay, yeah. So at this time, I have here already the molder for the this thing. So as you can see at the back portion of it. So for example, imagine if you're going to create um, uh, you know, a cocoa chocolates or whatever. You're gonna have pour it here, and then you have already the form of this. I mean, like this form. So it could be also a uh, you know a packaging of your tools. You know, or anything else so you can work with a lot of things and you know doing this stuff and so on so yeah so so again this is the vacuum form uh, this is an instant 3d molder um, it can be done you can make, create your own molder in just a minute so thank you so much for listening and watching as well please don't forget to subscribe and see you on my next video thank you bye bye